The Adventures of Robin Hood, Chapter 2 Robin Hood and Little John Robin Hood had killed a man and killed the king's deer. It was impossible for the young man to return home. So he became an outlaw, living in Sherwood Forest. As the year, as the year passed, 100 outlaws joined him in the woods. Some of these outlaws were in trouble for shooting the king's deer because they were hungry. Other men had lost their land when the king seized it for himself. Some men had been cheated by rich evil bishops, so they were all forced to leave home and hide in the forest. In time, they chose Robin as their leader, and like Robin, they vowed to help the poor and people in need. One spring morning, Robin felt restless. He decided to look for, advent for adventure. You stay behind, behind in the woods and listen for my horn, he said to his men. If I blow it three times, come running, come running. It's a signal, it's a signal that I need help. Robin wandered out of the forest. He greeted pretty girls on their way to market. He saw a monk riding a dog. He and a knight on a fine horse. He bowed before a fair lady. At last, he came to a narrow wooden bridge. Over a stream, he spotted a huge stranger on the other on the other side. The narrow bridge was only wide enough for one man. Both men hurried to cross the bridge first. They met in the middle. Out of my way! cried Robin. No, replied the stranger, you get out of my way. I'll use my bow and arrow, arrows to make you move, declared Robin. You cowards, said the man. You treated me with a bow, but, but all I have is this. He shook a heavy wooden staff, the, king, the kind used for fighting. No one calls me a coward said Robin. I'll cut a staff from those trees over there. Then we'll see what happens. Robin stepped off the bridge and made a long staff from a tree. While he walked, he sneaked a look at the stranger. The tall man whistled and gazing at the stream. As he waited for Robin, that guy is huge, Robin said to himself. He looks quite strong too, but Robin went bravely back to the bridge carrying his staff. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's fight on the bridge until one of us tumbles into the stream. The stranger twirled his staff over his head. Let's go. Robin struck first, but the stranger blocked the blow. After an hour, both after an hour. Both men were tired and bruised. At last, Robin smacked the stranger in the ribs. The man wobbled but didn't fall off the bridge. Instead, he hit Robin over the head. Robin was furious. He hit the man as hard as he, as he could, but the stranger struck back, knocking Robin into the stream. The stranger laughed. And where are you now? Robin couldn't help laughing too. I'm floating out the sea. He joked as he climbed in, into dry land. Let's shake hands. You're the bravest man I've ever met. Robin raised his horn, his horn and blew three times. Suddenly, a group of men dressed in green burst from the woods. What's wrong, Robin? God will Scarlet, you're soaking wet. Robin grinned. This big fellow knocked me into the water. Then he shall go for a swim too, cried Will. Robin's men leaped in onto the stranger. The stranger fought back fiercely with his staff, but they, but they wrestled him to the ground. Let him go, Robin said. Don't hurt him. He seems like a good and honest man. Then he said to the stranger, How about, how about joining my band of men? 
you'll have three suits of green clothes every day, plus all you can eat and drink. You're not very good with the staff, grumbled the man. He, he was still angry with Robin's men. Can you shoot an arrow better than I go? I, I can? If so, then I'll join you. Fine, says Robin. Come one let this stranger a bow and arrow. Roar cut a small piece of, of white bark and fastened in it to a tree. The stranger took aim. He hit the bark with his first arrow. Nice shot, said Robin. Said, now it's my turn. Robin stepped up and aimed. His arrow cut through the air and split the first arrow down the middle. That was an incredible shot, cried the stranger. I'm John Little, and I'll gladly join your band. Robin grinned. You're such a big man. I think we'll call you Little John. My name is Robin Hood. My name is Robin Hood, and you shall be my right-hand man.